Kilo Yankee Four Hotel Tango over. Roger Hotel Tango. What's the name there? Roger Hotel Tango. What's the name there? The name is Dennis Delta Echo November November Indian Sierra over. Roger Dennis, and what's your location? I, let, let me. Uh, Prognosticate. You're you're down around uh, uh, Georgia somewhere, I think. If you're down around uh, uh, Georgia somewhere, I think. Negative. I'm in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Roger, Roger. Well, FYI, you're blowing the Georgia SDR away down there. You're about uh, 12 over down in down in Georgia. I haven't checked out uh, the other SDRs, but uh, you're you're pretty hot down in uh, in uh, in Georgia. And uh, uh, Dennis, what radio are you running? In, uh, in Georgia. And uh, Dennis, what radio are you running? I'm running the Yazoo P2000 with a Howe PR781 mic deal. Was it FT-2000? Was it FT-2000? Still the FT-2000. Roger, roger. All right, uh, if you'd be interested in a setup procedure, what I'd like to do is uh, maybe um, copy the mail on you for just a minute and listen to your audio. Uh, if uh, you could give me about uh, 10 seconds and tell me about your antenna system, uh, I'd appreciate it. And tell me about your antenna system, uh, I'd appreciate it. Okay, no problem. Yes, Another antenna made to put up there. We was going to do it this weekend, but the weather's been real bad, though. Roger, I'm copying you also on my local antenna. My local antenna's got a little bit better frequency response than the uh, Internet SDRs, particularly on the lower side. Internet SDR receivers tend to roll off uh, uh, below uh, 300 cycles, and my uh, uh, receiver's uh, fairly well uh, modified to reproduce down to 100 cycles. So uh, the first question would be that uh, you're running that radio in a 100 to 2900 uh, band pass. Is that a Roger? Yes, Roger, that's the beginning of, uh, you know, all good radio. There's no reason to run, you know, modern radios in less than uh, 100 to 2,900. Uh, so that's uh, that's what I would recommend, and you're doing that. So, uh, gosh, uh, w you know, if you're interested in our setup procedure, again, it starts with the uh, compressor being engaged uh, at a 3. It's a token amount, but it does uh, exactly what we need it to do as far as winding up with a 3 dB dynamic range after our uh, setup. Roger. KSL, I'm glad I was scanning the frequency and heard you in there. Because so many of us you take the radio out of the box and plug it in. You, Roger. Yeah, if... Um, are, are you f had that radio for a little while? You know where things are on that radio? No, I just received this radio maybe a couple of three weeks ago. I usually talk on a FT-950. Yeah, roger that, roger that. Well, it did. Do you know where the uh, compressor is on that radio? Oh, no, I was going to sit down and read the book over it this weekend. Roger. Okay, let me give you a couple of notes, uh, two notes that will uh, start your setup procedure pretty much, uh, uh, you know, easy. And that is, uh, the first thing would be to engage your compressor at a 3. Just to turn that compressor on and uh, adjust it for a 3 input. Then, uh, once you have that, move to your ALC meter. And uh, with mic gain in hand, and as you speak fairly rapidly, 100, 200, 300, so you can see where the meter's reading, you adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is uh, reading uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. Mid-scale to two-thirds on the ALC meter by way of mic gain manipulation. Roger. Roger on that. I'm going to pull a manual out and go through it step by step. Yes, sir. Now, uh, the, the only other question would be your EQ. And like I said, I'm copying you on my uh, uh, my local radio, uh, and then we're good down to 100 cycles. So you might be just a little heavy on that bottom end. I would, uh, on my EQ, my sideband EQ, I would go at least a minus one click bass plus uh, three clicks treble boost. So it would be uh, you're rolling off uh, one click on the bass, and you're boosting uh, three clicks top end uh, uh, EQ boost uh, from treble boost from where you are. Roger. Q 
here trail, okay. And uh, that would uh, that should get you uh, fairly well articulated. Now I'm hearing a little whine in the background. What would that be? Oh, I had my two meter rig on. I cut it down. That should have took care of it. Yes, sir, it did. It did. It, so it sounded there for a minute, almost like a a mobile radio uh, with a you know power supply uh, uh, whine in it. Roger. Phil, man, you got a set of ears on you because this is exactly what it was. Roger, Roger. Well, it's, it's uh, clean now, and I, I would run it uh, without that uh, if if you could, Roger. Roger on that. And I think that was, that would do it there, Dennis. Uh, you know that radio is a beautiful radio, and uh, I think once you do uh, those uh, things that I give you notes on, uh, uh, you'll be a kitty bar the door, Roger. I really appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's funny because I'm usually getting ready to go to work this time of day because I work at night for UPS and I take uh, the night off. Oh, excellent. Excellent. I wish I had the night off. <laughs> now, I'm retired, so I have I have every night off. Uh, anyway, uh, let me say a three to you, uh, 73 Dennis, and thanks for dropping by. If you want to hear your radio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor, followed by today's date, 6 11, 21, that will take you to this recording on a YouTube search. Roger? fail. Roger, so 73, sir, and you have a great afternoon. This is the Friday afternoon Kiss of VLOG Net. My name is Jim, KC9VKV, and if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.